Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. Let us solve today's DC using Python programming language. The program have to accept a string S yes, containing multiple words. and integer k as input for each word in yes the program must shift the characters of word by k position towards right And finally, the program have to print the count of words which remains after shifting and also we have to print the revised words after shifting so the program must accept an string s yes, containing multiple words and integer k as input for each word in s yes, the program must shift the characters of word by k position towards right and we have to print the count of words which remains after shifting and also we want to print the revised words after shifting so which remains the same after shifting and you have to print the revised words so let us consider our test case for better understanding so in this test case we are having two words and k is equal to 5 tiger and spider so first let us consider the first word tiger so tiger the length of the word tiger is 6 so first we have to find how many position we want to shift so for that we have to do l is equal to k modulo len of tiger which is equal to that is len of word so k is 5 and len of tiger is 6 so 5 mod 6 So, 5 modulo 6. So, 5 modulo 5, sorry, the length of tiger is 5. So, 5 modulo 5 is equal to 0. So, tiger remains the same. So, now let us consider for our second word spider. So, spider k modulo length of word. Here k is equal to 5 and the length of word spider is 6. So 5 mod 6 is 5. So you have to shift 5 position from right. So p i d e r s will be our word. p i d e r s. This will be our required word after shifting. So let us print it. p i d e r s. So, in this two word, the tiger is the word which remains unchanged. So, tiger, the count of the word is 1. So, this will be printed as our output. Now, let us consider for our last test case. So, in this test case, we are having... 9 words and k is equal to 5 here, sorry 6, l is equal to k modulo len of words. So k is 6 and the length of pencil is 6, so 6 mod 6 is equal to 0, so pencil remains the same. 
so that is pasted here pencil now next word notebook the length of the word notebook is 8 so 6 modulo 8 so 6 mod 8 is nothing but 6 so we have to shift 6 position from right so it becomes T E B O O K N O. So this will be our required word. So let us paste it here. Now the next word eraser. So the length of the eraser is 6. So the length of the eraser is 6. So 6 modulo 6 is equal to 0. So the word eraser remains the same. So let us copy and paste the eraser here. Now the next word ruler. So the length of the ruler is ruler bird is 5. So 6 mod 5. So 6 mod 5 is 1. So we have to shift one position from right. So R R U L E. So this will be our required word. So let us copy and paste it here. Now the next word is pen. So pen, the length of the pen is 3. So 6 mod 3 is 0. So the word pen remains the same. So let us copy and paste it here. Now the next word is table. So the length of the table is 5 and 6 mod 5 is 1. So the word becomes E T A B L. So the next word is ball. The length of the word ball is 4. So 6 mod 4, which is 2. So L L B A will be our required word. Now the last word is bag. The length of the bag is 3. So 6 mod 3, which is nothing but 0. So bag remains the same. Now we have to count the number of words which are not shifted. So 1, 2, 3 and 4. These are the 4 words. So 4 and the shifted words will be printed as our output. Now let us implement our logic using Python programming language. First let us get the word as input. So s is equal to input dot split. And next we have to get the integer k as input. So get the input for integer k. Next let us have a empty list called revised word to store the shifted words and count as 0. So empty list and 0. Now let us iterate over the for loop and check for our conditions for word in yes. L is equal to k modulo. Len of word. Next new word is equal to. new word is equal to word of minus l to and plus word of to minus l. Next we have to append this new word to the revised word list. So revised word dot append new word. Now if the revised word that is a new word equal to equal to word means we have to increment the count by 1. So let us have an if condition here. If new word equal to equal to word means we have to increment the count by 1. So increment count by 1 and at last we have to print the count and words in revised list as output. 
So this will be our required code to solve today's DC. Thank you.